What is up everybody? Kick06 here with the first video in the Ryzen 7 8700G series of videos I'm going to be uploading. Right now what we're looking at is the AMD Adrenaline software app that you're going to have to download so you can update the drivers on your CPU otherwise your games will look like garbage. So the link for that will be down below as well as the links to every single part in this computer I'm testing on, Twitch, Discord, and Facebook links as well. Um, if you guys want to see any other game, feel free to put it down in the comments. So what we are doing on this playthrough in this video, we are going to do the recommended settings by Call of Duty. We are going to do FSR 1 and FSR 3 and see which one looks better. Right now we're going to start with FSR 1.0 for the first half of this and we'll go to the uh, 3.0 in the second half. And if you remember in the Ryzen 5 8600G series, which I just finished, and by finished, I mean I sent uh, I sent that CPU back to Amazon. Um, the FSR 3 on recommended settings had the best feel to the game. It just looked the best. So that's the one I recommended for the Ryzen 5 8600G. And here pretty soon we're going to find out just what I prefer in this one as well. But there you, you can see in the top left you have the FPS uh, recommended settings at uh, FSR 1.0 is at 115-ish, which is absolutely ridiculous. If you didn't know, this, uh, this APU is the equivalent of a 1650 I believe is what they said but personally I think it's better than a 1650 I built some computers with a 1650 and this CPU the Ryzen 7 8700G is probably outperforming them not by a landslide but it just seems smoother it just looks better it just feels better than it did on some of these old graphics cards and man I am just saucing all over these guys if my team wasn't bots, I tell you what, we might be getting somewhere. But pretty soon we're going to be swapping over. I think it's after the next time I die is when we swap over to FSR 3.0. But again, if there's a different game you want to see, please put it in the comments. Um, I would love to test it out for you. We've already done games like for four viewers that have posted in the comments. We've done things like League. We've done... Um, oh man, there was a couple other ones too. Valorant, and then there was one other. I can't remember, but we've got a long list of games that we're going to be going through. Such, a, well, we'll be going through those ones again too. But we're going to do Halo, we're going to do Rust, GTA 5. We've got a long list. So if there's a game that you want to see, feel free to throw it in the chat down below, and I will, if it's free, I'll definitely be able to do that for you. I will be getting Game Pass as well, probably tonight, so I can test um, other things. Like, I know Pal World is kind of the big one right now. Um, I'm going to be getting Game Pass just so I can test that one out, and because it's a lot of extra games, so I may as well. I may as well. I think it'd be a good time. But here we are. We're swapping over. It cost me a life, but we are swapping over to 3.0, and you did notice that it was around 115 to 120 FPS, and you lose that 30 30 fps give or take but just the way of just the way it feels and the way it looks i personally think it's still worth it to do it uh it just looks smoother it feels smoother the game doesn't it doesn't jump as much the graphics look better i just think fsr3 is the way to go that's just my opinion you tinker around with it as much as you want but that's that's just my opinion but that is going to be it for my part of the video. Go ahead, keep watching the FPS, watch as much as you'd like. I'm going to leave it up just so you can see the fluctuations in FPS and see the different movements and what it looks like. So, again, if you guys like what you saw, please feel free to leave a like and drop a comment saying what you want to see next, and I'll do everything I can. But my name's Tig06. I'll catch you on the next one.
Clock's ticking. Hostiles are in the area. We're getting 